Kentucky University turns dreams into reality. It shapes lives and enriches ideas from the day you walk onto campus until the day you graduate. Western teaches everyone to give all they can every day and to never sell yourself short in anything. Western Kentucky University continues to share these qualities with today's young people. When Dr. Henry Hardin Cherry founded the school back in 1906, his personal motto, the spirit makes the master, became that of the university. That spirit is what drives the nearly 15,000 students and 1,800 faculty and staff today. Dr. Cherry, Western's first president, brought his Southern Normal School up the hill in 1906. Dr. Paul Garrett maintained the legacy Cherry built while building one of his own. Dr. Kelly Thompson's administration saw the biggest student body growth Western had ever known. Dr. Dero Downing's work ethic will long be remembered. Dr. John Minton's role was critical during an important time in 1979. Dr. Donald Zacharias, the first non-Westerner to be named president, was immensely popular among the student body. Dr. Kern Alexander's presidency will be remembered as a period of significant enrollment growth. The technological leaps Western made under Dr. Thomas Meredith laid the groundwork for its move into the 21st century. Glad to be back. When Dr. Gary Rensdell came back home in November of 1997, he was greeted with enthusiasm by the entire Western family as its ninth president. He earned a bachelor's degree from Western in 1973 and a master's in 74. After working in university school relations, he left for Indiana University to obtain a doctorate and came back to Western to serve as associate director of alumni affairs from 1978 to 81. A six-year stop at Southern Methodist preceded an 11-year stay at Clemson, where he directed the school's $200 million capital campaign. The Board of Regents voted unanimously to hire Dr. Rensdell on September 12, 1997. This board challenges you to chart the course that will elevate Western Kentucky University to new heights in this community, our Commonwealth, and the nation. We have an opportunity to achieve a national reputation for teaching and strength of selected academic programs. We will reinforce our statewide reputation for strong faculty across our curriculum, technical innovation, and character of this unique campus. And we will fulfill our local responsibility for meaningful research and public service to enhance the economic development and quality of life in this community. We will thank National but we'll certainly act regional. We will dedicate resources to those priorities which will ensure value for cost and transform Western into a university worthy of national recognition. And that national recognition came immediately. In October of 1997, Western's Training and Technical Assistance Services received a five-year, $20 million grant to fund two Head Start quality improvement centers and offer training for Head Start providers in eight southern states. The College of Education earned a $200,000 grant from the Bell South Foundation to fund a program that works with 20 schools in the Green River Regional Education Cooperative. WKU faculty members are among the Commonwealth's and nation's finest. History professor Dr. Carlton Jackson was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. The music department's Dr. Michael Kellstrom's compositions are played across the country. The marketing faculty serves on the editorial review boards for 10 marketing journals, and that talent rubs off on the student body. Good professors are difficult, but they make it in such a way that you're interested about what they're talking about. Just the other day, I talked to one of the professors who I hadn't had a class with, but who is my advisor, and we talked for about an hour, and um, we'd really only met one other time, but she had kept up with uh, the stories I had written and other things and she knew me well even though she really didn't know me and then we sat down and had just a, a wonderful conversation and music's up mic up cue up western's broadcasting program ranked 11th in the nation and second in the south in a poll of television news directors 
The forensics team has won the past four Lincoln-Douglas debate championships. The Western Journalism Department has won the William Randolph Hearst Foundation Photojournalism Competition nine years in a row. Sitting atop picturesque College Heights, Western Kentucky University is a mainstay of the Bowling Green community. The Bowling Green Warren County area is home for over 88,000 people, a population that grows more every year in May. Some students love the area so much they choose to stay. In fact, of Western's 65,000 plus alumni base, over 8,500 reside in the Bowling Green Warren County alumni area. One name will always be synonymous with Western, E.A. Diddle. The legendary basketball coach is still fourth on the all-time wins list with 759 career wins. Every athlete he coached loved and respected Mr. Diddle. Coach Dennis Felton. Hilltopper coach Dennis Felton retains that respect and discipline. He brings a winning smile and tradition with him from Clemson. The future certainly looks bright with Felton at the helm. It is an unbelievable honor to, um, to have a chance to stroll along the same sidelines that have been paced by so many great coaches. Everyone from Coach Diddle to you know, Gene Cady to Clem Haskins, uh, coaches that, uh, that I look up to and coaches that uh, just did an unbelievable job at, at building what you've become familiar with is Hilltopper basketball. The women's basketball team didn't lose a beat when Steve Small took over in 1997. He led the Lady Toppers to a 26-9 record in his first season as head coach. Western has made three trips to the Final Four, 1985, 86, and 92. The Hilltopper football team's 10-2 finish in 1997 was the best in 22 years. A home playoff win over arch-rival Eastern Kentucky was the first appearance in the 1AA playoffs in nine years. An anonymous $3 million gift in 1998 enables coach Jack Harbaugh to sign more quality athletes. With the gift, he can now give the maximum number of scholarships the NCAA allows. Track and cross country standout Christina Brown was named NCAA Woman of the Year for Kentucky one of 51 female athletes honored across the country. Western belongs to the Sunbelt Conference in basketball, track and cross country, baseball, tennis, golf, and volleyball. Soccer is in the Missouri Valley, and football rejoins the Ohio Valley in 1999. The 1997 passage of the Kentucky Post-Secondary Education Reform Act gives Western more potential to reach more students. A special legislative session created the Council on Post-Secondary Education. The Council provides direction to all of Kentucky's institutions of higher learning. The Act also allows these institutions to establish programs of distinction. Western officials put a sharper focus on the regular session of the 1998 General Assembly. A constant presence in Frankfurt and well-defined list of priorities were integral in Western receiving state funds for construction of an $18.5 million Center for Institutional Technology and Communication. $2.1 million will go to deferred maintenance needs and funds were appropriated for regional post-secondary education centers on the extended campuses in Glasgow and Elizabethtown. Facilities like the Kentucky Building, the Institute for Economic Development, and the WKU Farm draw thousands of visitors to the campus every year. No wonder students stay fit. If the climb up the hill doesn't burn the calories, the Preston Center will. Western is a progressive and modern campus. Every residence hall room and office is fully networked to the world via cutting edge technology. The Western experience is so very precious. The growth and challenges Western has faced are many, but the challenges that lie ahead are just as exciting. At Western, you are a part of a team, a team with a simple mission. 
Earn a first-class education while keeping the Western spirit. Remember, the spirit makes the master, and it continues to thrive today.